Hey everybody, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go. Hey y'all. And we wanted to share with you why we chose the van behind us, a Class V RV, a Class B RV, mm -hmm. why we chose it. We actually had the opportunity to compare it with Laurie's mom and dad's brand new Class B side by side. So We're competing for travel. <laughs> yeah, if you wanna know uh, why we chose one over the other, why we feel like a Class B RV is just the thing to get after all the years we've spent in RVs, Why'd we end up back in a Class B RV? Um, watch this video and maybe we can shed some light on that for you. We're gonna tell you the prices that we paid. We're gonna tell you what we like and don't mm -hmm. like. And uh, maybe this video will be helpful to you in some way. Yep. And it could be our hurricane escape route, just like Vinny Vegas yeah, was. Yeah, our hurricane escape vehicle. If you've been watching <laughs> the channel since we started this channel, we did a review on the RV that we showed up in the Florida Keys with, <laughs> then one that we had in between, we got rid of the first one, and now this is our third RV that we've had in what four and a half four years. And a half we, years. <laughs> four and a half years. Yeah, Laurie and I. Thus, mm -hmm. Gables on the go. We recycle them a lot. <laughs> we, uh, we move around a lot. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. Hopefully, you'll find this video useful, and we'll share our ideas on these two RVs with you. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody! Here's Skipper. <laughs> He's the traveling van dog, right? He's the travel dog, the boat dog. <laughs> the travel dog, the boat dog. Yep. The van dog. He likes van life pretty good. Yep. So, he's going to help us with our review today. Yeah. He likes <laughs> our van a lot, I know. I think it's just because we're in it, actually. Yep. <laughs> so one thing I do love about our van is this awning, which is automatic, and it has a sensor that if it, the wind is blowing too much, it will retract back in. So that's yeah. really nice. Yeah, I do like that. Mm -hmm. And I like that it doesn't have arms on the side if you look at the Jayco, it's a different style awning. It's still electric, it still comes out the same way, but you do have to put the arms down. It doesn't support itself from the top. Um, this one's Carefree of Colorado on the Coachman Beyond. I'm not sure who the manufacturer is on this one, but we will see if we can find out. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I like, now one thing I do like is their LED strip, mm -hmm. their lighting. Mm -hmm. on this one let me show you come here and look at this one so their led strip is mounted permanently right there and right. i like that because whether the awning's in or out mm -hmm. um, you always have your light there shining down in your area over here right whereas on ours ours is out mounted on the edge mm -hmm. let me show that real quick and the light does see our LED strips right there. So our light moves out with the awning when it comes out. So it's darker over in this area and lighter out at the edge. I think mm -hmm. I prefer it there. Right. So it's always lit up inside this area, no matter whether your awning's in or out. Mm -hmm. Do like that a little better, I think. It has some underneath undercarriage lighting. Yeah, both of them you have. You can use. Yeah, that, both of so. them have the little blue blue LEDs underneath yeah, for your entry lights, nice. kind of nice. Mm -hmm. So in the entrance to the beyond, you get a place for your TV, woohoo. Yep. So you can put it out here and watch the football game or something, just get outside and do yep. that. Um, be cool if they made some kind of shelf right there too, to fit yeah, in there. Yeah, it would. Yes, you could. And that's one thing, while you're talking about that entrance mm -hmm. right there on the Jayco, the other van, um, their entrance is a lot larger because mm -hmm. they don't have this, this wall, wall right here, here. Yeah. and it's taller mm -hmm. and their screen's much wider. Let me get a shot of that real quick. Okay. So see their, their screen is almost twice as wide as ours and the opening from the floor up to the top is much higher on this Jayco than it is on the Ford on the coachman um, on the Ford chassis. So I do like their opening to get in and out better. Yes. And I love that they both have screen doors. Yep. So we can have some. And it is air. no SIM screen or small <laughs> insect screen. So when <laughs> it works pretty good Yeah, when you yeah. get in there. All right, All let's right. see the inside of this jewel. This is the first camper RV, whatever that we've had. And we've had a few, a few um, that is the white cabinets and the white walls and it makes such a difference in here 
to be able to just have that light reflecting off all the whites and it just makes a ton of difference yeah. to me. Yeah. I'm just a light color girl as far as furniture and things. The dark is preferable for some people. Yep. Yeah, no, I like the light better and we've had so many RVs and campers over the years and that was always been one of the things we said mm -hmm. when we get one that we pick out new and we just like we want, we want the light tones. Yes, we, like we that. want that and the little glass windows. So you've got lots of storage up here, which is nice. Um, kind of goes around yeah. so all these little guys open up give you storage and a useless radio you really don't yeah, need and we'll just probably scrap remove. that that thing comes out it's useless i don't like it <laughs> came uh, with it but we don't like it yeah sounds um, terrible so we've got an induction cooktop here yep and a sink nice little round sink yep. comes with dishwashing detergent a little microwave there yeah little microwave a um, couple of storage drawers i like this for when I sleep here, I can put my water and my phone and stuff up here and you can charge right through these little lights. They have yeah, the, your yeah, reader they have lights. the little USB ports on mm -hmm. them up there. So then you go just touch. Nice. Like that. Nice. And we, I do like the lighting in here will change from you can just turn these on or those just on and you can, you know, break it down into different areas so you don't have such bright lights yeah. all the time. You yeah. Know? But you can have them where you need them. Um, little yep. mini fridge. This is a nice deep drawer, which I like. It's kind of skinny, but it holds the stuff. Yeah. There is a little table that goes in right here, um, and the seats will swivel around, so you could have a tabletop here. Yep. And there's a place for a table down here below the mattress. Yep. Let me get a different get... shot of that, babe. Yeah. Okay. So you can also, it comes with a pole that you put right here in the tabletop comes up here and just swivels. watch out skipper so i can get a Skip. shot of that <laughs> table thing <laughs> and now here's an unfortunate part for us that underneath this um yeah under the under mattresses. here is all the utility stuff all yeah. the what do you call those i, I like systems. the word utility systems, utility yep. systems yeah. hot water heater the so, ducting all that so we don't have storage don't there have storage there is one spot right under here you have some storage yep. that will fit about four pairs of shoes that's about it mm -hmm. yep so no so, storage under the beds whereas right. the jaco does have storage under the beds which does, i like that which is a nice a long area which we'll show you in a minute yep hey one note of interest mm -hmm. on this um, refrigerator that is not what everybody's been used to for years and years. Um, it's, it's not a typical RV refrigerator. It is actually a compressor refrigerator. And one thing that's nice about it, number one, it cools very fast. Um, the other thing about it is it doesn't um, build up the ice and stuff in the freezer mm -hmm. like the non-compressor types that we've always had on our other RVs. Right. It, um, it's more like your home fridge, just small, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and it is DC, so it runs off the batteries or plugged in or off the generator. Either way, it'll switch back and forth, AC and DC, which is nice. I don't even know if the fridge switches. It may just be, it always pulls DC power, and then we've got inverters on here that mm -hmm. will um, do. So I'm not going to smother everybody with specifications today. <laughs> Quite frankly, I don't know either. <laughs> Well, let me give you a rundown on the bed length here. Yeah. This is the best reference I have. I am 5'6". If I yeah. put my feet against the wall, I have that much room between my head and the yeah. top here. And so, I'm 5'10", and if I lay in that bed, which this bed is about three inches longer than that bed, mm -hmm. I just barely fit in there, and they're very narrow. These are two inches narrower than the ones in the Jayco. But, um, yeah, they're doable, but not super comfy. Now, I have seen people on this van, they do a, uh, there's Insert. a thing you can put in the middle, and you can make this wider, and there's inserts that go in the middle, so mm -hmm. you can make that one big bed. But right. we like it this way, so whoever has to get up in the middle of the night and go pee-pee, we don't have to just like walk that. all over each other. And then you come in here and you shut your little screen door. Yep. And you pop it back open. Yep. And it's got a, do you want to come back Let here? me come around the back side there okay. and get that. So much easier to see the bathroom from back here. Watch. 
This is neat too. So now I can sit on the pooper. Sit on the pot. <laughs> <laughs> and look out and get some fresh air, which it feels really good not right now yeah. in here. And what would Matt, the RV guy, he'd say, uh, is that toilet poopy approved or something like that? Oh, it is. I've tried it. I've <laughs> tested it. It's already good. Well, here, open your screen back up so we can see up. you. And then yeah. Skipper wants to come Skipper's down. Skipper's coming out. Yeah. So, yeah, it's got a... It's very ample. Your little toilet. It's got a shower curtain that just goes all the way around. Yep. It's got a sink that folds down right here. Yep. And that's your faucet or comes out for a shower. Yep. Shh, shh, shh. Like yep. that. So, wet bath. Take a shower in like there. You can sit on the toilet and take a shower if you want to. There you go. And a mirror with a little medicine cabinet yep, little bitty vanity up there it's very small and then we've got very very minimal storage out here guys these class v vans the, the vans they're all similar um, with just a little bit of storage back here on the back to tuck your items but storage is not something that is um, worth a flip on any of these class, no. straight crack class b's has a wardrobe up here which you can put um, it has shelves that go in it which i took down to try this but a regular coat hanger will not go straight in here so yeah. you have to turn your coat hangers diagonal to shut the doors yeah it works but i think i may put the shelves back up instead sorry of sorry for all the terrible camera angles guys but it's all we can do there's just enough space in there for one person for sure these are the best drawers right here because they're kind of big yeah and roomy yeah. all your stuff and i will say the cabinetry that um coachman uses in here it's all wood it's dovetailed you see this along here it's really nice stuff um i think the ones out in the kitchen are soft clothes these may be no those aren't but i think those out there are and um, let me tell just you just a nice nice cabinets in these things i like it they nope. kind of they actually they're slam clothes probably designed that way so they don't pop out going down the road yeah they kind of <laughs> poof back yep. in hi skipper all right. He's getting really good at doing that, isn't he? Hey, look here. We got our gables on the go. Logos on the van. So if you see us going down the road. Woohoo! Gables on the go. Yeah, wave at us. <laughs> now this van is a little different. We're going to jump over to the Jayco in a second and bounce back and forth a little bit. I want to try to hit the high spots here, not suffocate you guys with specifications. But this chassis is the Ford chassis. It's on the Ford Transit chassis. Uh, it does have dual real rear wheels where the Jayco is on the Dodge Promaster chassis and it just has single rear, rear wheels, you know, and I would say overall, probably for fuel mileage and the softness of the ride and stuff, this may be actually better if all you're going to do is concerning about the driving. This Ford chassis is all wheel drive. It's got the 3.5 liter um, EcoBoost twin turbo motor. So this thing's a rocket, it will fly. They both ironically get um, almost identical gas mileage. We, we tracked about 14 miles to the gallon mm -hmm. uh, when we did a long trip down here. And also Laurie's mom and dad um, tracked 14 miles to the gallon coming down here. So about the same but they have yeah, yeah. the Dodge chassis. One thing that concerns me on this Dodge chassis, they're all low, but look how low. Oh if my can, goodness. If I can get a shot of that, I don't know That's, if the camera will pick it up, it. but I mean, that thing is like two inches over grass height right there. They're all low. Look at ours. Yeah. It's, Our, not, it's a little low. bit higher, but So here it is on much. the Ford. So same deal, our generator hangs down in the back, but our plumbing is up higher. And I'm thinking on that uh, Dodge, when you go over a curb or, or you know up a hill or something, I'm worried that that plumbing may drag. I don't know. And neither one of these vans, even though this one is all wheel drive, you know, this is not an off-road deal. If you're no, looking for one to take off-road, uh, neither one of these vans I would recommend. You'd want to get more of the, the lifted four by fours, but mm -hmm. you know, the Fords, and I think you can, I don't even know if you can get these in four wheel drive or not, but um, this one is all wheel drive, but just for snow and mud, it's not still going to be worth a flip off road. Yeah. One thing I do like about the Jayco, um, this is something that uh, John uh, put on here was he added the ladder 
And note of interest, the Jayco does not come with a spare tire. So he spent about $2,000 for that ladder, that spare tire and the holder, and then a basket rack to go on the top up there. Um, it came from the factory with the railings that you see up top to hold things. So there are cargo holders up there, whereas the Ford does not have that up top, just the rack part, but no ladder on the Ford, but the Ford does have a spare tire underneath the trailer hitch down there, back underneath there that you could just let down. So that's kind of interesting. The uh, Ram does not come with the spare tire, the Ford does just a note of interest. And that can be you know, pretty important when you're traveling long distances. The systems in these things are very, very similar. Let's get in the, um, the Jayco real quick. Just shot of the front of that. Babe, let's get in this one and kind of look right. at the interior as a comparison. Skip, you wanna ride in the van? Come on, man, let's go. You wanna go van ride? Yep. Boom, right in sure there. Sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they have a nice big opening for getting in. Yeah. This is taller up here. Yeah. Um, but their ceiling is not as tall. Ceiling is just an inch or two bit. shorter. Mm -hmm. um, and just, I think, like an inch or two wider. So it actually feels a little roomier inside this van. It does. Than it, has it does a inside our Ford. Bigger, like wider. Our Coachman kind of Beyond. Deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is nice because there's still a very light interior, which is still gives you that, you know, spacious feeling rather than dark wood. Yeah, no, um, but this it's one is very has, pretty. I like uh, show how their oh. their cabinets open up and all that. They have these little guys yeah, little, that you push in. Yep, little latches on them to keep them from coming out. They mm -hmm. close very pretty. They're pretty cabinets. Mm -hmm. Very nice as well. And I like that they left this open up here. Ours has a little door. Yeah. Right here, which you can put things in, but it, you know, makes it not as accessible as this. Yeah, that's a better goodie go compartment up there. Way it? back in there. I mean, you could put a couple of camp chairs in that. Yeah, for sure. So I like yeah. that. And this is all open for storage too. Yeah, and then when this chair is swiveled around, this is a table that comes up and over so mm -hmm. that you have a little place there. And little then desk this one has space. a pull out over here. So you get a little bit more space there as well, but both these chairs rotate. You can see mm -hmm. the front of the Ram chassis, and I'm gonna, I'll show you this, and I'll, I'll tell you in a minute what I think about driving these two vehicles. That was a big one for me. I like their pop-up power thing. Yeah, here. their power grid. Is, That's pretty cool. That is cool. Power I pedestal, like I think they call those things. Mm -hmm. So All they right. just have the little propane burner stove top. Yep. And their sink is nice and deep. I mean, yeah, much bigger sink. Yeah, much bigger than ours. So that's nice. And this glass cover, you don't have to put it somewhere when you pull it up. Yeah. Ours, you've got to put that little piece yeah. somewhere when you put it up. So their beds are a little, they're two inches wider than the Jayco is. Let's do a comparison. Oh, wait, this is the short side. Yeah. So short side, five, six. Feet on the wall, and I have more room above my head yep. than I did in the yep, other one. Yep, you do. On the short side. And this one's a little bit longer bed. Looks like it's three to four inches longer, and again, mm -hmm. two inches wider. So, I mean, you know, Laurie and I are not huge people or anything, but um, I, I, I'm not super comfortable on these beds um, because I like to sleep on my side and he likes to be taken up a out diagonal, all like yeah. three quarters of the king size bed. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> So, uh, but you know, for road trips, a few nights in the van, going where you want to go, and keep mm -hmm. in mind, both these vans are not designed to be, you know, live in. No. They're designed to, you know, travel in and sleep mm -hmm. in when you need to, but otherwise probably staying at a hotel or something somewhere. Yeah, no, that is really nice. That's nice. Right there. Because you got all that space in there. Roll up table, some camp chairs, whatever you need. Yeah, that's, that is some good space. Does the other mm -hmm. side have that as well? I do not remember. No, it's no, not one just the one-sided deal. And look, yeah. they have these little spring yeah, forms those are cool. built into the... Yeah, it's like uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you call like box springs? <laughs> and I think there's some, oh yeah, this thing raises up. I like that. Somehow. I don't know how it locks. Oh, I guess yeah, that's you it. guys can't see what she's doing, but there's a there's a lift up back yeah, there, so you can actually lift thing. pull your bed up, watch like TV, that. and we our TV and our van is on this wall over here, so we have to sleep facing back that way if we want to watch TV at night. Whereas theirs trade spots with me a second, sweetie. So theirs is on. You can see it hanging right there, and it does you know pivot out and turn so you could lay this direction and face the front of the van and watch tv over there so i like that design better i wish yeah i do too i wish ours was up on the front like that all right let me come open the up so we can see the bathroom back there okay the layout of these two vans is is very very similar it's ironic that we both ended up with the same layouts but laurie and i have found after I don't know how many RVs we've had now, six or six, eight, yeah. um, that we like the twin bed set up because you can walk in between it. Oh, the breeze does so good. Uh, that breeze does feel good. In Let's between. see. Yep. So, note of interest on this. Uh-huh. There's no way to close off this back. There's no screen. So, no. if you want to take a shower or, or take a poop. <laughs> <laughs> in the open air you better make sure on you don't the, have any neighbors on the ford you can see the difference we've got that i know i already showed you guys this sorry oh it's up there so you got that so you can leave this back open now i'm assuming i'm guessing there's some kind of curtain thing or something it's got to be shower something. curtain seems like there would be something that closes us off but i don't know yeah i don't see anything um yeah to do that I don't either well this is a little bit different. Still got the same pop-down sink, but a smaller sink. Um, little faucet right there. And it has a bigger shower head, which I guess you could change that one out and like feels like a full shower more guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, a little medicine cabinet. I like their medicine cabinet much better. Me too, because all that stuff will stay in its place. Yep, that is, that's nicer. Mm -hmm. Ours is just kind of a box and this actually this bathroom is not as wide as our bathroom uh -huh. i mean you can actually tell it right here when you look at this uh, wardrobe uh -huh. that's a lot smaller or yeah. not a lot a few inches i guess everything's yeah. just a few inches in here yeah yeah <laughs> but there's seems a little deeper for the hanger part i don't know i'll have to ask her if she can hang clothes in there yeah. just fine so <laughs> So a couple things on these uh, these vans, guys. A couple reasons why I chose the Ford. Well, Laurie and I chose the Ford, but I guess I was really adamant about it. <laughs> <laughs> we drove the Mercedes Sprinter, same style, same layout. You know, we the layouts that we chose were the same uh, in all of the Ram, the Sprinter, and the Ford. My my impressions of it right off the bat was the Ford drove more like a car. I sat lower. I didn't feel like I was sitting up over the steering wheel like I was on a school bus or something. The Sprinter, to me, was the worst. The driving position in the Sprinter, I, I absolutely hated it. Um, matter of fact, we didn't even look at any other the Mercedes units. They were beautiful, and Mercedes obviously makes a great vehicle, but um, at the end of the day, I got to drive this thing thousands of miles. so. I don't want something that I'm uncomfortable driving because that's what I'm going to spend 90% of my time um, doing in the van. I want something that I actually enjoy driving. Here's Hi, the Skipper. front of the van. Yeah, I just like the way the Ford, I, I'm down in it, you know. I'm down in it more and the steering wheel's low. And in the other vans, I feel like the steering wheel's down here. I'm sitting way up high and... You know, I've got my arm prop there. I got my armrest here. Kick the seat back, cruising down the highway. And I give him his pillow for his left arm. Yep, I put a pillow over here <laughs> and prop my arm, and I'm comfortable. And um, that was I don't me. Know. I take I just, a nap. I just love the way the the Ford sits and the driving position of it. There's cup holders everywhere. One there, one there, one there. Teeny on tiny ones side. right there, but on the sides, yes, there's. Yeah, but this holders. one will hold the Yeti cup. It will. You're yeah, right. This one will hold the big ones, so it's good. Mm -hmm. 
right, so here we are in the Dodge. Yeah, and so. Here's your driving position. See how I'm way up here. Like, I feel like I'm driving a school bus. <laughs> Without like in the, the, in the Ford, I'm, I'm in it, mm -hmm. down in it, the steering wheel, you know, but. Does your seat need to lean back? In some? the Dodge, um, well, I'm sure it could, but. It's still. Either way, even lean back, it's. I don't know. The driving position is just very high and high. upright. Mm -hmm. And you know, some people may prefer that. Actually, John prefers that. He likes the he way. Said his back doesn't he said hurt. his back doesn't hurt as bad. Mm -hmm. um, and he's sitting up straighter and higher. And, and actually, that was good for him. So I guess it just, you got to drive these things and figure out, you know, which one you're comfortable in. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm comfortable in the Ford. And obviously, Thousands of people are comfortable in the Mercedes and lots in these, so yeah. depends on your preference. I'm not necessarily a Ford guy. I've had a Dodge, I've had a Chevy, but I'm always the most comfortable in Ford vehicles for whatever reason. They just fit me. I like the way they sit. I like the way they drive. Um, I like to prop my arm up on things and, you know, I'm a lazy driver, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Ford had that feeling to me where the Dodge and the um, and the Mercedes did not. And that was a big one for me. Cause you know, let's face it, these vans, you're not going out to spend months at a time living in a van. Well, some people do, but not us. This is more to travel from point A to point B, stop along the way. But um, you know, and either van is absolutely awesome. Um, and the reason we got back to a class B van, cause we've had class uh, A buses, we've had trailers, we've had fifth wheels. We've had another class B van. And if you guys have been following the channel very long, you, you probably saw our, our um, Thor Vegas that we came down here with and then um, got rid of that. And then we bought a trailer, basically didn't use that at all because it's too much of a hassle to hook up and tow everywhere. And here we are back into our class B van. You know, the most fun RV you'll ever own is the one that you'll actually use where it's not actually a big deal to get in it and take off. Not a lot of preparation. We can use this thing as a second vehicle. So that was a big, uh, big thing for us, you know, choosing a class B van, especially down here in the Florida Keys where, you know, room is tight, you know, trying to get into parking lots and go see things and jump out real quick and do a tourist type thing. You can do that in the class B vans and in everything else you can. Hey, and here comes the music. Great. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work out, so we'll see. I know. <laughs> hey, one thing I want to mention, guys, that's it's really important. We're really not comparing apples to apples here. If you look at this van, the way it's equipped and the way we got it, compared to the new price of the Jayco Swift next to it, they are at, at different price points. And obviously, you know, if you get the all-wheel drive, I've got a twin turbo motor, I've got a two foot longer van than the Jayco. So they're really not apples to apples. If I'm sure Jayco has another product that probably would compare more comparably to the, um, the Coachman Beyond. But um, just to give you an idea on price, uh, Laurie and I bought this van. It had 13,000 miles on it. It was used at a dealer, got traded in for something else. And uh, it's a 2022 model. We paid 100 grand for this one. We actually 90, and then we bought all the insurance junk that I swore I'd never buy, but I did anyway. So you know, we got about 100 thousand dollars in this van. The Jayco over here um, was also 100 grand, but it was brand new. And here comes a plane landing now. <laughs> Yeah, and the next thing we buy, <laughs> one day, when we get big, <laughs> is one of those jets. That would be nice. That's the way to travel to the Keys right there. Yeah, really. But the Jayco was brand new. He bought that, you know, with a factory, brand new warranty, everything. And he paid the same as I did for this van, used and a year older. This is a 2023. The Ford's a 2022. Both of them, we spent the same amount of money on. So, you know, you got to keep that in mind when you're looking at these and the price point that you're at, because trust me, there's a lot nicer, more expensive units out there than this one and this one. And then there's less expensive ones, too. So it's a, you know, a trade off depending on what you spend. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed that review of these two RVs. 
Um, I know we didn't go into great detail, although we probably went longer than you wanted us to. But <laughs> he has know. a lot of good details, though. Well, there's a you know there's like a billion specifications on these things. But mm -hmm. you know what? If you're hopefully we we said some things that might make a difference to you, and then you can always jump online and look up the specs. You know, decide which one's mm -hmm. right for you. But hopefully, um, we could just share some real world experience um, that might actually make be more helpful than all the specs and stuff we could have done and what the you know what the black tank holds and the gray tank holds and all that junk so uh, you can look that stuff up but anyway guys thanks for watching our channel if you haven't already please uh, like and subscribe it helps us a lot believe it or not with with youtube so um, take a minute if you would like the video if you do um, and subscribe to the channel and laurie and i will see you next time on gables on the go see you later <laughs> bye guys